everyone, I'm Hope Corrigan, it's the 30th of November and welcome to another edition of Crit Damage's 90 Seconds of Nintendo News. Pokemon Go players caught over 3 billion Pokemon to unlock some really cool stuff. Niantic put the challenge out and it turns out Pokemon Go players all over the world were up for it. Hitting the milestone saw Farfetch'd appear in the wild for two days outside of its native Asian region. They've also unleashed the legendary Pokemon Ho-Oh in raid battles all over the world, but like Lugia before it, this second gen staple will take a full team of trainers to take down. Nintendo's newest mobile game, Animal Crossing Pocket Camp, is out all over the world and it's about to kick off its holiday event. The portable Nintendo console staple has made its way to mobile in the form of Pocket Camp, and while this may be a watered down version and has some very optional microtransactions, Pocket Camp is proving to be incredibly popular. Tomorrow we'll see the launch of its holiday event, which looks to feature Christmas-themed furniture and who knows what else. And everyone's favourite post-apocalyptic ink-based shooter Splatoon 2 is getting a brand new update with new styles, new bands, and new maps. New general stage levels have dropped, including Mako Mart and Shellendolf Institute, and Salmon Run fans get a new playfield as well, with Salmonoid Smokeyard joining the rotation. New bands bring new music with bottom feeders and ink theory coming to the weird world of Splatoon. And over 140 new items and a few new hairstyles have been added to the mix, which for me just raises some questions. I mean, how do they cut their hair, isn't it? Tentacles? I don't know. And that's it for this week in Nintendo News. I'll see you next time for Crit Damage.